hello everyone hope you all doing good so this case was recently posted on instagram and you guys have sent lot of queries and responses about the same so let's discuss this case this is a female patient 45 years old and with the chief complaint of white patches in mouth from last 9 to 10 months in these type of patient we should always ask medical and dental history and any history related to chewing tobacco and smoking so on on asking about the same the patient is panjue from last 17 to 18 years and she has uh, quit it from last 1 year and she has been taking medication for the pain relief on extra oral examination we found both sides of submandibular lymph nodes were palpable they were non tender firm and they showed limited mobility on intra oral examination we found a important part that is it showed change of labial and buccal mucosa that is it was pale in color there were fibrous band both seen on the labial and buccal mucosa and there was limited mouth opening around 3.5 to 3.7 cm the flora of mouth was firm it lack it was lacking a flexibility the tongue was seen with restricted movement and it was basically a ball tongue the uvula was also deviated to one side as seen in this picture this lesion is white and that is it is exophytic lesion and that is covering sulcus area gingival area labial and buccal mucosa involving 4 3 to 4 7 there were also numerous finger like projections from this lesion so depending upon these findings we have done the provisional diagnosis that occurs to be varicose hyperplasia proliferative varicose leukoplakia and varicose carcinoma if you guys want to know about the difference between them please let us know it will uh, help you easily diagnose these cases in your clinic or hospital so blood tests were done and they all occur in normal range we have planned excisional biopsy and before that we have done incisional biopsy and the reports confirmed it was varicose carcinoma let's discuss about oral submucosa fibrosis so what basically is oral submucous fibrosis so it basically occurs in patient that are associated with betel nut chewers and uh, let's discuss about the pathogenesis the pathogenesis is simple but complex so it basically involves juxta epithelial inflammatory reaction and fibrous and fibrosis in oral mucosa because of increased cross linking of collagen which up regulates lysyl oxidase activity and due to which there are bands formed which are due to erica nut and what it does basically is it increases collagen production and it decreases collagen degradation this is important point to be noticed in osm of patients so we conclude this case and come to final diagnosis that is varicose carcinoma the patient has been undergoing medication systemic medication if you want to know about the same please let us know in the comment section and if you guys have any queries about the same please let us know about the same thank you